I don't know what it is with me and capacitors. So my video card, this is an old card, I still use it. So I don't do much gaming. Um, let me set this thing down here. Sorry for all the wobbliness. So this capacitor right here, whoop, right there, that one's lifted up. And um, it's no good. I replaced this one right here like about a year ago, year-ish ago. Now this one right here is leaking. At the very top there, it's starting to leak its yuckiness. And um, so I need to change it. So I use, um, I run two displays off this. So I don't, I don't have a computer. So what I did is I went on eBay. Got a pack of 20 of them for $1.38. So those are 16 volt, 680 microfarads. And that's what I got right here. 680 microfarad, 16 volt. So, so this card, if I replace that capacitor even once a year, this thing will last me 20 years. So what do you think of that? Talk about never upgrading. So they'll go up to 105C. I don't think this uh, video card will see that. <laughs> so 680 microfarad, 16 volt. So I'm gonna desolder this one and replace it with one of those. And um, I'm gonna measure the capacitance of that one, which is dead. And then measure the capacitance of a new one. And then fire up this old old classic graphics card here and um, and so I can finally run my two displays and what I wanted to show here is that my capacitors test are showing about a hundred and ninety seven microfarads when it's supposed to be six hundred and eighty microfarads so I got the new one right here in place right here and I just wanted to say thank you so much to the board developer. They put a plus sign way up there, right there, to show what side of the capacitor is positive. Because they didn't, this one here is not marked. And I hate it when capacitors explode and you turn devices on, so I'm really happy that they had at least one of them marked. You know, just usually they have the, the negative painted. But on this one, they didn't. They just put a positive. Great. Thank you. No explosions today. But um, this is an old card. You know, I think 2008 or something when I bought this. And um, this is a new capacitor. That's the old one. You can see how they got smaller with the better materials over time. So, and I measured this on my, um, I measured this one on my, um, meter and it's close enough i think it was like like 890 or no 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 si uh, 690 instead of 680 so it was within 15 percent or whatever so close enough and what i wanted to show you was that my soldering iron here underneath my desk you can see it glowing red hot now, i think that's pretty cool huh i don't know i just um it's my cheapy 150 watt uh, Dilly Bopper I got on eBay for $8. So, I don't know. It looks like it's doing its job and it works amazingly well. Okay, and here I am. I'm all done. My funky old antique. Still working. Got the 1 gig memory. It's working perfectly now on my monitor. So, I don't even have anything to test it with. But yeah, it's working. She's, um happy so I just wanted to um, yeah it's an old card so so yeah old card ah uh, needs to be upgraded <laughs> slowest thing in my computer is my graphics card but you know what though, I don't do any gaming, so I don't care. It's just my uh, my uh, rendering box. 
So, yeah, so um, up and running in just about 10 minutes worth of work. And uh, my desk is a mess because I have like 30 projects going. But um, yeah, these little boogers right here, when they start to uh, bulge on you, this thing here will focus on me. Yeah, there we go. When those things start to bulge, you know they're bad. Like, just replace them. And, um, so, um, yeah, it's bulging. You get a new one right here, and it's perfectly flat on top. No bulging at all. And, um, so, um, yeah, just change it out. Make sure you measure them before you put them in, because you don't want to put all the time into it and find out you put in a bad cap. But, um, so, yeah, that's just a quick, um, quick fix. You know, save yourself a hundred bucks. Don't buy a graphics card, just fix it. And then, if they can buy you till Black Friday when they're on sale, then wait till Black Friday. Alright, have a good one, guys. And don't blow anything up.